The purpose of human life is to serve and to show compassion and the will to help others. The Rev. Dr. Albert Schweitzer The Rev. Dr. Albert Schweitzer, Vegetarian, The Peaceful Genius, Part 1 of 2. Continue watching to find out more. Welcome to Part 1 of a two-part series entitled The Rev. Dr. Albert Schweitzer, Vegetarian, The Peaceful Genius. In 1949, he was featured on the front cover of Time magazine, which dubbed him the greatest man in the world. Former Prime Minister of the UK, His Excellency Sir Winston Churchill called him a genius of humanity. In 1952, he won the Nobel Peace Prize. Indeed, the Reverend Dr. Albert Schweitzer was a brilliant polymath whose personal philosophy revolved around what he called reverence for life. A vegetarian, theologian, musician, author, missionary, and medical doctor, he dedicated his life and his remarkable abilities to serve those in need and to speak up for peace. The Reverend Dr. Albert Schweitzer was born on January 14, 1875, in Alsace, a region bordering eastern France and western Germany. His family valued intellect and many of his relatives had attained scholarly success in such fields as religion, music, and education. His father and maternal grandfather were Lutheran pastors and both his grandfathers were gifted organists. The young Dr. Albert Schweitzer realized early on that, being from a family of higher status, he was better off than many other children. He felt fortunate and humbled to attend a village school, where his classmates proved to be very bright despite their less privileged backgrounds. At the age of nine, he started walking the 3.2 kilometers to school on his own. He enjoyed these solitary journeys, immersed in the natural surroundings throughout the changing seasons. Little Dr. Schweitzer was eager to learn more about Lord Jesus Christ and asked to read the New Testament when he was just eight years old. Having observed the struggle for existence and the abuse of helpless animals by negligent humans, he was deeply touched by the commandment, Thou shalt not kill. At night, he would pray, Lieber Gott, schütze und segne alles, was Odem hat. Bewahre es vor allem übel und lass es ruhig schlafen. Dr. Albert Schweitzer was initiated at an early age to the piano and the organ and found great delight in improvising and coming up with his own accompaniments to songs. He was only nine when he first performed at his father's church. From 1885 to 1893, he studied with master organist Eugene Munch during his secondary education at the Mull House. Under his tutelage, the teenage Dr. Schweitzer was inspired to work hard to improve his craft and fell in love with the works of musical greats like Johann Sebastian Bach and Richard Wagner. Dr. Albert Schweitzer was ever grateful to be blessed with such a happy and healthy youth and knew that he should not take it for granted, as he wrote in Memoirs of Childhood and Youth. Aus dem tiefen Glücksgefühl erwuchs mir nach und nach das Verständnis für das Wort Jesu, dass wir unser Leben nicht für uns behalten dürfen. Wer viel Schönes im Leben erhalten hat, muss entsprechend viel dafür hingeben. When he was 21, Dr. Schweitzer resolved to devote his life to preaching, science and music until the age of 30. He would take this time to accomplish what he hoped to in these fields while learning how he could be of service to others. 
In the next years, he pursued studies of theology, philosophy, and music theory in Paris and Strasbourg, France, as well as in Berlin, Germany. In Paris, Dr. Albert Schweitzer was tutored by the famous organist and composer Charles Murray Vidder, who helped him advance from being a gifted organist to a celebrated organ scholar. Like Dr. Schweitzer, Charles Murray Vidder also regarded the organ as not just a musical instrument, but as a means to reach the eternal. They also shared great respect for the works of Johann Sebastian Bach, whose music Dr. Schweitzer described as an act of worship. The two would grow into lifelong friends. Dr. Albert Schweitzer continued training and would become one of the world's most famous concert organists, performing internationally with some of his organ playing being recorded. His musical talent earned him money to pursue his studies and, later on, his life's dream. Cherished viewers, let's now pause to reflect on our divine purpose. We will return shortly, here on Supreme Master Television. Welcome back to the Reverend Dr. Albert Schweitzer, Vegetarian, The Peaceful Genius, Part 1 of 2. Der Zweck des menschlichen Lebens ist es, anderen zu dienen mitfühlend zu sein und die Bereitschaft zu haben, anderen zu helfen. Der ehrwürdige Dr. Albert Schweitzer Dr. Albert Schweitzer began his theology and philosophy studies at the Kaiser Wilhelm University of Strasbourg in 1893. He obtained his doctorate in philosophy in 1899 at the University of Strasbourg and received his licentiate in theology in 1900. He began his career as a preacher at St. Nicholas Church in Strasbourg, then served in several high-ranking administrative positions at the Theological College of St. Thomas. In 1906, he published a book, The Quest of the Historical Jesus, which established him as a respected theological scholar. The later publication of The Mysticism of Paul the Apostle in 1931 reinforced this status and his great renown. Dr. Schweitzer supplemented his studies with intensive work as an organist, a writer, a university professor, and a preacher. The pamphlets and books he published during this period of his life reflected the scope of his interests which included Johann Sebastian Bach, organs and organ building, and the historical background of Lord Jesus Christ. Underlying these subjects was a common thread which Dr. Albert Schweitzer called the everlasting struggle for truth. In 1904, the Reverend Dr. Albert Schweitzer read an article published by the Paris Missionary Society appealing for urgent medical help in Gabon to treat illnesses such as leprosy and sleeping sickness. When he turned 30 in 1905, the Reverend Dr. Albert Schweitzer decided to fulfill his promise of devoting his life to serving others by helping the needy in Africa. He wished to compensate for the ills that foreigners and colonists had committed on that continent and to set a better example, as he once said, Ein Vorbild zu sein ist nicht das Wichtigste, um andere zu beeinflussen, es ist das Einzige, was zählt. In preparation, Dr. Albert Schweitzer enrolled in medical school specializing in tropical medicine and surgery. He earned his medical degree in 1913. In June 1912, after marrying Hélène Breslau, Dr. Albert Schweitzer applied to work as a physician in the Paris Missionary Society's mission at Lambarene, which had been stricken with widespread malaria, dysentery, sleeping sickness, elephantiasis, and leprosy. 
On March 26, 1913, Dr. Albert Schweitzer and Helen Schweitzer, who had become a certified nurse to help with the mission, set off to establish a hospital in Lambarene in present-day Gabon. Dr. Albert Schweitzer constructed and ran the hospital like a typical African village, blending African culture with his own techniques to address the needs of the population. He earned great trust and affection from his patients, and the villagers respectfully christened him Oganga, which means doctor and healer. Around 2,000 patients came to be examined in the first nine months, some who traveled hundreds of kilometers over many days to reach him. The Reverend Dr. Schweitzer worked long and hard until the political situation in Europe caused all work at the hospital to stop. In 1918, he and his wife went back to settle in Alsace, and on his 44th birthday, Dr. Albert Schweitzer's daughter, Rena, was born. Over the course of the next six years, Dr. Albert Schweitzer continued to work hard, taking medical classes and writing several more books. He went back to preaching at his old church, giving lectures and performing concerts in order to save enough money to start the hospital in Africa again. Moreover, people from all over the world contributed to the funds for hospital supplies. It's time to close today's program, so let's enjoy this precious recording of Dr. Albert Schweitzer practicing back at his pedal piano in Lambarene with his cat. Beloved viewers, it was a great pleasure to have your company today. 